All right, in this video, we're going to look at integrating some rational functions using substitution. So um, to start off with here, we have x over x squared plus 4. So again, you know, if I was kind of looking at this problem just sort of, you know, uh, out of the blue and I didn't know it was u substitution, again, the thing that I would think about is I see something to the second degree in the denominator, and I see something to the first degree in the numerator. And that, to me, makes me think, you know, maybe a little u substitution will work here. So if we let u equal x squared plus 4, the derivative of x squared is just going to be 2x, uh, and then we'll tack on our dx. Well, notice we have an x dx in our problem, so I'm just going to multiply both sides by 1 half. So we'll have 1 half du equals x dx. So the x dx, that's what I'm going to replace with the 1 half. Um, and then in the denominator, that's what we're calling u. Okay, so now we've got it down to a formula that we can uh, use. So the antiderivative of 1 over u is the natural logarithm of the absolute value of u. And now we just have to plug back in our u substitution, which was x squared plus 4. And now we have our, um, our antiderivative. Technically, for any value of x, this quantity on the inside would be positive, so you could even write it without absolute value. But <clears throat> in general, you know, I just leave it an absolute value, and that way I don't have to really even worry about it. Um, let's look at our other example here. So we have uh, 24x to the third minus 4 over 3x to the fourth minus 2x plus 1. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I notice we have an x to the fourth in the denominator. So if I take the derivative of that, I would get something cubed. And then we have an x to the first. If I take the derivative of that, um, I'm just going to be left with a constant. So hopefully by picking u to be the denominator, we can um, manipulate it so that our u substitution will work. So if we take our du, we would get 4 times 3, uh, which would be 12, and then x to the third and then minus 2, and then dx. Well, that's almost what we have in the numerator. We have 24x cubed minus 4. Well, if I just doubled both sides, so 2du, and if I multiply the right side by 2, well, now it says that 2du, and if we distribute, hey, that would give us our 24x to the third minus 4 dx, just like we want. So now we can do our u substitution, okay? So it says the quantity in the denominator, that's what we're calling our, that's what we're calling u. So we'll just have u downstairs. And then um, in the numerator, 24x to the third minus 4dx, it says that's going to be the same thing as 2du. I'm going to pull the 2 out front and just leave the 1 inside. And again, now if we integrate, we just get the natural logarithm of the absolute value of u. But I'm just going to plug our u substitution back in. That's 3x to the 4th minus 2x plus 1. And again, we've now found our antiderivative.